Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take an image and turn it into a vector using Inkscape. Okay, so converting things from a regular, you know, PDF or JPEG image into a file that you can use or a vector file, something that you can use a lot of the time in advertising, especially if you're using a logo. Um, if you want a company to put your logo of your business on, you know, hats or pens or cups or whatever you're going to be doing, you're, they're going to need to use a file that's um, vectorized. And so what we're going to be doing is showing you how to do that today. Uh, so first off, what is a vector? Okay, a vector is basically taking um, your image and no matter how large or small that you scale that image, you can, you, it will not change the, um, the quality of that image, if that makes any sense. Um, so if we take the Misfit Studios logo, um, if you look up here, let's see, let's set it on pixels. It's about 500 by 221. Okay. Um, that's the size you want it. Well, if you were to blow this up to, let's say something in, you know, the HD, you know, 1920 by 1080, you can see that it gets kind of fuzzy, okay? And if you blow it up even larger, you know, let's go into here like this corner, it's it's, it's very fuzzy. So if we were to, you know, if Misfit Studios were to um, want this on a billboard, okay? You know, 15 foot by 12 foot billboard without using a vector file originally, it's gonna look terrible. So um, first thing we want to do is we actually want to tr um, keep our, our image highlighted. We're going to go up to Path and Trace Bitmap. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up the Trace Bitmap menu. Um, there's a few different things within this that you can just keep default, um, but we're actually going to be looking down here at the multiple scans. The single scan is going to get, we're going to click the live view preview so you can see what's going to happen. Um, the single scan will give you um, that just did a single scan of your image. So of course, brightness cut off, edge detection will detect the edge of, you know, the um, hard edges of contrasting colors, um, color quantization, and then you can invert the image as well. So um, a down under the multiple scans, it's gonna actually give you brightness steps, colors, and then grays. What we're gonna be using is colors because we want a vector file of um, the logo and there is different colors in it other than black and white. If you were using um, something that is just a black and white image, then you could use the grays and just use different scans. Um, the scans, the amount of scans, the more scans you have, that means the more colors you're gonna have in your vector. Um, be very careful though, because if you have, like if you're trying to vectorize a, a face or something that's got a lot of detail, um, keep the scans as low as you can because the higher that scan is, the harder Inkscape has to work. And I've noticed a lot of the time with Inkscape, if you have too many too many scans on a single bitmap, it will tend to crash. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. We're actually gonna keep it on uh, the colors, of course. Um, eight seems to be just about right. If we click down too much, then we lose a lot of the, um, in the, a lot of the color around the studio stamp. So we're gonna keep it at eight. We're gonna uncheck smooth and then um, might as well remove the background too. And then go ahead and hit okay. And what it's gonna do is it's going to um, put a that vector right on top of the original image. So if we drag this over, okay, let's go ahead and put these side by side just like this. Now, with this particular instance, you can see a little bit of a difference. So like in the M and a little bit in the S, you can see there is a little bit of a difference in the color, okay? The, the texture isn't quite right. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try it again. So let's go ahead and bring up our um, bitmap menu one more time. And we're gonna go up to 10 scans, okay? Hopefully that'll give us enough um, color differentiation to get that little detail back in there. So we're gonna click okay, drag this over. There we go, that's, that's a lot better. It's still not perfect, but it's gonna be good enough for um, if we were gonna put that, you know, on a, hoodie or a coffee mug or a pen or something like that. So we can actually delete the original image that we imported. And if we zoom into this, you can see that these edges actually start to get nice and sharp. Okay. It's no longer a, 
you know, pixelated edge. So the nice thing about this though, is if we want to change anything specific about this particular logo, let's say that, you know, you don't like the way the F looks. And so what we can do is we actually can go up to our um, edit pads and nodes tool and you can click the, um, the different paths. Okay. And what this will do is it'll actually highlight um, all of the different nodes and um, paths that are in the vector file. So all of the um, scans or layers that you created with that bitmap tool. So if you go and highlight, you know, some of these vectors, let's go ahead and zoom in. And you can change the way some of these look by highlighting these vectors if you were wanting to edit or change things afterwards. Okay, let's go ahead and control Z back to what it was initially go back to our select tool. Now, I told you at the beginning of the video, there is two different ways of doing this, there is a second way of doing this. So Go ahead and show you that second way. Now that we've got our um, original image back in, I don't recommend doing this because it's just too cons time consuming and you get just as good a results with tracing a bitmap as you do it this way. But I am gonna show you how to do it. That way you guys know. Let's so go ahead and we're gonna start with the eye. The eye, it looks like it's gonna be the most simple. So let's go ahead and go to our uh, Bazier pen and we're actually gonna just outline this little square right here. Okay, just like that. So it's gonna give us a, um, a path, okay? So let's go ahead and fill that with green and we're gonna get rid of the outline, all right? So now what we wanna do is we actually wanna go back to our select tool. We're gonna change the transparency down to about half. That way we can see the eye underneath it. And now we want to um, go back to our Bezier pen and we're just gonna outline our eye the exact same way we did with removing um, in that video, we're removing the background from a logo. Um, it's the exact same thing. And of course, our circle up here at the top isn't perfectly round. I mean, you can use the ellipse tool if you want to, or if you want to do it this way, you can do it that way too. We're going to go ahead and add a node right there. Zoom in a little bit so we can pull this one out just to kind of smooth things up just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we actually want to change the color of these. So we're going to go ahead and hit shift and select both of those and then change that color to red and then get rid of the border. What that's doing is it's actually just doing exactly what the bit tracing the bitmap tool did with the first the first image the first time around. We're just um, replacing or tracing over the top of the original image. You can actually move this image out of the way and what you're left with is a vectored image over the top of the original image that you traced. Okay, because if we zoom in, you can of course see that there's, you know, there is no pixelation. When you draw in Inkscape at default, so if you know, it doesn't matter what you draw, it's gonna draw a vector style image or a vector style object. And so it will scale with the size that it is within Inkscape, okay? Now, of course, I can't tell you how to save this project depending on what you're gonna be using it or what kind of file the um, the particular manufacturer or whoever you're having um, this done for, um, they're gonna have their own specific file on how to save this. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just going to highlight our vectored image. We're gonna go up here to file and then save as. We're just gonna actually just um, type MS logo and then we're going to save this to the desktop. What we're going to do is we're actually drop down the Inkscape SVG. A lot of the programs that are used to do a lot of, you know, like CNC cutting or um, embroidery, that kind of thing, are going to have their own specific files. One of the most common, though, is the desktop cutting plotter, okay? Um, of course, it's not going to be the same across all of the different um, pieces of equipment and programs, of course, so talk with the people that you're going to be doing this with and they will walk you through or they will tell you what file to put it in. Um, but the nice thing about Inkscape is there is a whole ton of different um, file types that you can save this as. So you can email or or send it in a flash drive or whatever you need to do to uh, get your logo on some merchandise. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. If you guys want to see anything else in Inkscape or want to know how to do something specifically in Inkscape, please put a comment down below, hit that like button, and we will see you guys next time.